This video will demonstrate a free online normal distribution calculator that can be used to determine probabilities. The URL to the calculator is shown at the bottom of the screen. Given a data set is normally distributed, determine the probability that a randomly selected data value has a z-score in the given interval. Give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places and a percent to one decimal place. For part A, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is greater than negative 0.6. For a quick review, a z-score or standard score is the number of standard deviations a specific data value is from the mean of the distribution. If we plot z-scores on a normal distribution, it is called the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a normal distribution that always has a population mean of zero and a population standard deviation of one. So going back to our examples, again, we will first find the probability the z-score is greater than negative 0.6. Going to the calculator, at the top, we select normal distribution. Because we are dealing with z-scores, we know the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. Next, to determine probabilities, we use these three options. To determine inverse probability, we use these two options. So we will be using these three options here on the left. And because we're looking for the probability the z-score is greater than negative 0.6, we select the second option where we have the probability of x being greater than a particular value. Again, because the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one, this x value is the same as the z-score, and therefore we enter negative 0.6. And then we click Calculate. The probability is shown here in red, but also looking at the graph below, notice the area is shaded below the curve to the right of the z-score of negative 0.6 is shaded. This area represents the probability, which to three decimal places is approximately 0.726. Let's go ahead and record this. So we have the probability under the three decimal places, which is the percentage is equal to 72.6%. Next, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.5. Going back to the calculator, we now select the first option where the inequality symbol is less than. And again, because we have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, we know this is the standard normal distribution, and therefore the x value is the same as the z-score, and therefore we enter negative 1.5, click Calculate, now again, looking at the graph, notice how the area below the curve to the left of negative 1.5 is shaded. This area represents the probability, which is shown in red, three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.067, which is equal to 6.7%. And for the third example, we have the probability the z-score is greater than negative 1.8 and less than 1.1. Going back to the calculator one last time, we now select the third option, enter the leftmost z-score, which is negative 1.8, tab, enter the rightmost z-score of 1.1, click calculate. Again, notice how the area below the curve between the z-scores of negative 1.8 and 1.1 is shaded. This area represents the probability. The z-score is between negative 1.8 and 1.1, which to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.828, which is equal to 82.8%. I hope you found this helpful.